Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sue Sanders with Suzy Q Stamping, and I want to welcome you to my three on Thursday for January 19th, 2023. Oh my gosh, this year is just like, I don't know what's going on with January already. Um, just to kind of catch everybody up, y'all know what my problems were the first week of January with no heat. I got that fixed. No vehicle. That should be done tomorrow. Um, last week I wasn't feeling really good, but I am back and I think I have my mojo back too. So we do have some new equipment. Um, I have a light ring that I have above my camera now. So if you like what it's doing for the lighting, then give me a thumbs up or something. If you're watching me on YouTube, um, give me a thumbs up, like the video if you like it today make a comment subscribe hitting that red subscribe button below the um video screen here um i am already ready to post my blog post for today's cards i just have to upload the video and i may retake the picture since i didn't have my light ring and i've got a light box now so um that's awesome for me. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sheree. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know. Does anybody know what January is for me besides being so bad? It is my two-year anniversary with Stampin' Up! as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I have had loads of fun doing it over the last couple of years, and I hope that I can do it for a lot more. So these are just some cards that I was playing around with over the last week or so. This is a technique that I'm going to do a video on um, and show you because I think that the technique is so pretty. So I'm going to explain that technique. Um, this is another card that we made with the Fancy Flora paper um, and some of the burlap ribbon that came with that suite, I believe. Um, this one here is from the um, bear set. I can't remember what the name of it is, but that's okay. I hadn't had time to play with this one, so I just kind of made up a card um, thinking that I could use this for a birthday card for either a man or a child. So on the inside, then it says happy birthday and the bear's holding a balloon. Okay, so let's get on with, this one's not finished yet. I have to put the greeting on it. Okay, thank you, Cherie. All right, so now I am going to tell you who our winner is for the cards that we made on January 5th, which was these. So this was a fun fold birthday card that was using the paper from the um, celebration free paper. And there's another fun fold that was using that paper and then here was just the simple one that's just a simple hello card so the winner of these three cards is cindy mcgee so congratulations cindy i will have these at class for you tomorrow so that you can pick up your winning cards hello terry welcome from florida 80 and a little breezy well you know what? You don't have to brag. It's, I don't know, 40 and a lot breezy. The wind is just blowing like crazy today. I don't know. Um, don't forget, if you are not a member of the club, the host code that is for my January host code, Dorothy has that running across the screen for you. That's if you place an order outside of the um, club that we have monthly. We're locked, up. We're locked up. Why are we locked up? I'm locked up. I can't do anything. I don't, I don't think it's still going on. The ticker's not changing. Okay. Give me something if you can still hear me, ladies. They can still hear you because it's still showing up on it's Facebook. It's still showing up live on Facebook. Okay, so Cherie or Karen, 
Okay, so Cherie, you've still got us. Are you on Facebook or YouTube? Okay. All right, thumbs up, hearts. Yes, we're back on okay, that. so we must be back on then. All right, so today we are using the Fancy Flora paper. Oh, here it is. I knew I had the whole pack. I had one sheet from the whole pack. Um, so this is in the new mini catalog. So this is all the paper. You get 48 sheets. And some of you participated in my paper share. So you got part of this. Okay, I'm just going to hold this because my hands don't hold it all. So that's one side. And then you flip it over and you have all these other beautiful, um, it looks like watercoloring to me. Or this kind of reminds me of textured walls. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So that's part of it. And then here's the rest of it. And I love this. This could be used for a masculine card. Several of these could be used for masculine cards. So we're going to make a couple cards using this paper today. Okay, and so that's one side, and then this is the other side. And this, to me, just looks like they've taken a, a trowel and just kind of smeared paint over a wall. Okay, the stamp sets that we're going to be using today on all the cards is something fancy. Framed florets and the two tone flora. Okay, all right, pad is on. All right, so the first card that we're going to make is this one here. And this is basically letting the um, fancy flora paper be our focal image. So this is a real easy card, but it looks very elegant when you get it completed. So all my little pieces here, we have a 4 by 11 inch piece of paper scored at 5.5. We have a scrap of the DSP, 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. A piece of basic white for the inside that is 3 and 3 quarters by 5. And this is a piece of the DSP from the Fancy Flora that is 5 and a quarter by 4. All of these measurements will be out on my tutorial, which is already on my blog. So as soon as I can get the video uploaded tonight, then that post will be done on my blog. So you can visit, visit my blog and you can print off the tutorial if you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this card made. It's very simple, very quick. Take off all my little notes. And the first thing that we're going to do is our stamping so that if I mess up, I can get another piece of paper. So this is the piece that we're going to stamp on, and I'm going to stamp, may the good you do come back to you. And I'm going to stamp it right here in this open spot. No need for another layer of paper. Okay, so I've got it stamped there now. We're going to go ahead and stamp our inside green so that I can put the ink away and we don't have to worry about it getting all over the place. And the inside I have it saying, so lucky to call you friend. I think sometimes we, we just need some of those cards that sometimes we just send to a friend um, for no reason. Maybe because they're having a down day or something. I need to get my mat. Just use this grid mat here for my... You all have to tell me because I'm like, now that I have this ring light and where I need it to be placed at above my camera. Oops, better flip it over and make sure that I stamp it the right direction. Okay. So what has everybody been up to? I'm sure that Terry's been out on the beach. So lucky to call you friend. Okay. 
clean our stamp. I have ordered a new chamois. This one is about two years old, and I have wore it out, I think. All right, let's go ahead and attach our papers. All right, don't forget that the 30th of January is when I'm going to have my Mystery Monday card where I will send you out the first clue, which is where you will get all of your supplies ready to go, your paper and embellishments and what have you. And then we'll get on a Zoom meeting and uh, make the card together. And I'll be anxious to see how you put yours together versus how I put mine together. All right, so that's laid down there. Now I'm going to attach my little piece of scrap. along the bottom edge just to kind of decorate the inside whoops got a little overzealous there with that stamp and seal i've got some really different cards for our card club tomorrow i hope you ladies like it if you haven't heard or didn't get your your text message I do need you to bring your um, paper trimmer so that you can trim the paper in the sizes that we need because that is half the fun of the cards we're making. All right, now we're going to attach this to the front of our card. I didn't get it quite straight. I've got more at the top than I do at the bottom, but my eyes and I are not getting along. What can I say? Then I'm taking some of the iridescent pastel gems, and they're in the mini catalog as well. Okay. So this is how pretty they are. I just think those are so, so pretty. And we are going to use, um, that must be, this is my old one. I glued my pointy tip into it so that it didn't come out all the time. We're going to use these here that were, they're not real dark because I didn't want them really, really dark. What do you think, ladies? I'll hold it up here. So I like these lighter ones. So, we are going to take a big one, and we're going to place it up here. Yep. We're going to place it up here, and then we're going to take another big one, and we're going to place it down here, and we're going to take one of the little baby ones and just kind of put it in line with that. So, quick and easy yet elegant card. You could add a bow if you wanted to or ribbon around it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just didn't think that the card necessarily needed anything else. I was going for basic cards. Yes, Karen, I agree. The, the sequins just all match. It makes it so much nicer than trying to mix and match um sequence so that's card number one today i think i actually have it backwards on my blog but that's okay all right card number two that we're going to make today this is the second card we're going to put together is this one and it's also using that fancy flora paper and we have cut strips down. So our supplies for this is a basic gray card base, five and a half by eight and a half, four to four and a quarter. Then we have a piece of basic white times two, that's five and a quarter by four. So we have two pieces of that. If 
I can get things picked up. And then we've got four pieces of the fancy floor of paper. And these are cut at one inch by three and three quarters. Okay. Now you could do it with either side of the paper and match your match your your cardstock with like a balmy blue or the soft sea foam. But I like the brighter colors. And the colors in this paper include balmy blue, basic gray, calypso coral, daffodil delight, evening evergreen. Fresh Freesia, Night of Navy, Orchid Oasis, Pool Party, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Suede, and Soft Succulent. So you have quite a variety of colors that you can max, match this paper with. All right, first off, we are going to stamp our birthday greeting down here at the bottom. It's a very narrow birthday greeting that says, Happy Birthday. And we are going to do that in Calypso Coral. And I know approximately where I'm going to stamp this at, simply because on my example one here, it's really quite close to the bottom. So I know that I can stamp pretty close to the bottom and be okay with lining up my papers. So we're going to ink up our happy birthday and because it's a very narrow stamp. We don't need to um, press it in the ink like you were killing it. Okay, so we're going to stamp it more over towards the right than to the left. So that looks about straight to me and I'm just going to press it down and rub my finger over it and voila, we got happy birthday. Then we're going to stamp the inside. And on the inside, we're stamping wishing, wishes for a beautiful birthday. So depending on what colors you used for this, um, with this gray, even with the blue gems on it, you could still use this for a masculine card. Um, or you could flip over this paper and use the other side to where it wouldn't have any of the pinks or purples or anything in it. So we're going to set that piece aside and now we're going to stamp wishes for a beautiful birthday. I forgot to do this kind of stuff with paper. Oh, you mean just using the paper, Terry, as your focal point? That is, you know, I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in all of the, what all can we do with it, that sometimes we forget the simple things when we want to do several cards and have some on hand just for, you know, maybe somebody that we're not real close to, so they're more of an acquaintance than a real, you know, a real good friend. So. You know, I'm going to start, I know this year I am going to be sending birthday cards out to more people and not all of them are going to be real fancy cards. Um, I like to think of it this way. Sometimes people aren't worth a real fancy card. <laughs> well, you know, you've got those friends, right, that you want to spend a lot of time doing a card for them. But then you have those friends that are like, you know, I know you. I see you once every couple months. Um, I don't want to spend three hours on a card for you, but I want to send you a birthday card. All right, so there's we're done with that ink. Um, also, on the inside of this card, we are using one of the um, flowers from the two tone flora. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that. So this one kind of is more of a mask or more of a feminine card than a masculine card. And because I get confused whenever I'm stamping these two-step flowers, I've got my, my block marked that this is the top. And then I marked my other one that that's the top so that I know where I'm placing my image. And I'm going to use Fresh Freesia. And 
and I'm going to use this as a piece of scratch paper to stamp off on. So here is my flower. You're right, Cherie. Simple cards if you know they're going to end up in the trash. I mean, you know, I'm not going to put in three hours worth of work if they're going to throw my card in the trash. I know Dorothy has a horror story about that. She gave somebody at work a beautiful card that she took a lot of time making. And the woman didn't even take it home to throw it in the trash. She threw it in the trash right there at the office where Dorothy could see it in the trash. You know, she came home and she says, I'm never giving anybody at work a card. I said, you know, and she never did. But the thing is, you can't always blame everyone for one person's lack of appreciation. But you're right. If they're going to throw it in the trash, they're getting one like this that doesn't take a whole lot of time. I don't do a lot of die cutting. They may or may not get the embellishments. You know, I mean, embellishments are expensive, right? Especially when you mail them. Especially when you have to mail them. All right. Now I need my little leaves. I put my leaves. There they are. And I'm going to use the soft succulent for my leaves. And I'm just going to use this little piece of scratch paper to stamp off on. So here is our leaves, one there, and we're going to have more over here. So there's our leaves. <coughs> and I am still battling bronchitis. I think that's going to be the rest of my life. I just, y'all wonder why I clean my stamps right away because I know I'm going to end up sticking my hand in them. And then I will end up having ink on my new cards. All right, close up my ink. All right, wishes for a beautiful birthday. We can go ahead and stick that down in the front of our, or in the middle of our card. So I am waiting, ladies, to hear um, what stamp sets are going to stay in the new catalog when it comes out before I plan our spring card class. Because I do want to use a stamp set that will be continued into next year. I don't want us to work with a car or you know work with a stamp set that isn't going to be um, carried over. But I am going to uh, work on getting that on the calendar at the church. All right, now comes the fun part where we have to semi kind of do this straight. And you all know that Sue doesn't do much of anything straight. Okay, glasses, glasses, there they are. All right. Must be chocolate time, Lindor. All right, it's going to melt. My light is really hot. Okay, so we're going to just kind of lay these out here to place them. And these are going to be popped up on dimensionals. Now, if you wanted to, you could do every other one. So tell me, would you like it done all with the same side? Or do you want me to do every other one? Let's take a poll. So here's the different ones. Here's one where it's all the same side. And here's one where I've alternated it. So let's take a vote. Let's give you a few minutes to type in. Which one do you like better? I'm going to eat my chocolate while you are. Uh, Cherie likes the same. Okay, come on, girls. Let's let's give me an answer here. Help me out. So 
same print. Okay, that's two that want it on the same print. Karen and Pat, I haven't heard from you. Karen wants the same. All right, it looks like the same as the winner. So let me get my dimensionals out here. If you do every other one, then you're then you decor it a little. I'm not sure, Pat, what you're meaning by decor, but my brain's not functioning very well. But since we had three that said they wanted it all the same, we're going to put it all the same. Okay. And because there's no really any direction to this paper, I didn't keep these in any particular order. Okay. So let's just start putting our dimensionals on it. And I would say you want to make sure that you put a dimensional on each corner. Now, if you had the strip dimensional stuff, you could use that and just put a strip on the top and the bottom of it. And that would work fine. I'm going to take and turn all of these over and start placing them. Terry, did you get your catalog that I sent you? I hope you did. I did send it out, I believe. Yeah, I did. Because I wrote down how much it cost to send them. It's kind of aggravating when you send stuff and people don't get it. It's like, why do I pay such a high price for stamps? And yes... I agree, Cherie, the stamps are going up this month. So you might be seeing me do less dimension on my cards. Just because I don't want to spend a dollar to send cards to people. And yet sometimes I don't like just handing them out. I like to, I don't know, I like to get happy mail. I like to get something besides advertisements we don't usually get a lot of bills they're all electronic so but I like to get happy mail all right now that we've got all of those we're going to go ahead and take our backings off of all of these so that that's all done come on sure is a gloomy day out today did y'all hear that maybe Sunday we're supposed to have some more weather come in yeah, they're not sure. But then I don't think they I don't <laughs> think they were sure time. last week either when, you know, the storm hit on Wednesday and they had said just a little bit and we ended up getting almost five or six inches down here at the lake. So I think being a weatherman is the only job you can be consistently wrong at and still have a job. But hey, somebody's gotta do it right. So I, whenever I'm doing mass production of something, I'm getting to where I really like doing all my dimensionals at one time and then taking all the backings off, except I have to make sure that I put them somewhere so that I don't get stuck to them. And I forgot to put my black lines on these so that I would know when I got the backs off. Get these out of the way. We have such a hard time. Our dogs just love to get into our paper scraps and our trash in our room. And it's like, seriously, there's nothing in there. There's no food or anything. Well, now that I look at that happy birthday, it's a little crooked. We're going to restamp it on the back. Maybe I can get it straight this time. I do have, if I, where is it? I think this is the way I'm going to do it. That's going to be covered up, I think. Okay. That might be covered up. You know what? I think, yes, it will be. Cool. 
it can be covered up there. Where did I put my happy birthday? Here it is. I'm going to take my ruler. This is just a little trick that sometimes that I use. I'm not going to make a line. I'm just going to place my ruler where I want to have it and make sure that my ruler is lined up. So it is using my grid on my block there or my pad. And sometimes I put the stamp to the block and then I still have to kind of move it so that I can see that it's even. Tap, 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 because we don't want it to be too mushy. And my paper moved. Can't have that. Okay, so I know I want to stamp it right above. There we go. Much better. So that's a little trick for you, ladies. If you want to, you can use a little ruler and line it up on either the grid paper. I'm out of my little grid paper, so I've got it ordered, or I've got it ordered, but my grid pad here will work. So now we're just going to adhere this one because that's our first one, but we're not going to lay it down there because the left side has more of a margin than the right. This is what I'm having difficulties with with my eyesight is my left and rights. Getting it to be the same margins on both sides. Okay, pick up our next one, and we're going to leave a little space between them. Once you get that first one laid down, then at least you've got that one to give you the guide for the rest of them on the sides. Although I still think I've got it a little bit off, but we all are not perfect, and I've never claimed to be. My assistant just told me that she was, but I don't believe it for one minute. I think she's just trying to be funny today. Actually, I have to say kudos because I did not design these cards. These two cards, my assistant Dorothy did. So, actually, I probably should have laid this on my gray piece, but that's okay. We are going to give it some adhesive. And then I'm going to open this up and lay this flat so that I can see it better. And I'm kind of looking at my grid paper or my grid to see if I've got it relatively even, and I do. All right. Now I think I think these blue adhesive back gems, I think they're retired, but you might go out and look on the clearance rack because they they are iridescent, and so there's light ones and then dark ones. And if they're on clearance, you can pick these up for next to nothing. But they just kind of match this um, design. So we've got a big one. Down here. And we're going to put a little baby one. Up here. 
and another baby one up at the top. So we're leaving one without one. So we've got our three. So what do you think of that card, ladies? Relatively simple, right? Not a whole lot of work with it. You know, if you're better at being straight on things than me, then that's that's wonderful. Okay, our next card I did design, and we are going to be using soft suede and a couple of the stamp sets I'll show you. We're going to be using the brushed metallic adhesive back dots, some linen thread. We are using a two. We're using the small one and the middle one of the something fancy dies. We're using that for our greeting on the front of our card. So I really like this. If you don't have this um, set, it's really, really nice. These are all the um, dies that you get. And this one here, it cuts out a little flower and two leaves. This one cuts out like a little teardrop. And then this one here is leaves. And I love this one that's already got the angle cut to it. And then the two tags and the layering, layering labels. So this is in the mini catalog. And you can get the dies, just the dies for $28. So it comes with a total of 12 dies. All right, so the card, this is the card that we're going to make. So I went more masculine since I had two feminine. I feminine, I did a masculine card. And this is using the free set from the celebration, which is in the country. And you don't have to color these. Like you can see here, I did not color this. But if you are a great color person, you could definitely color it. I'm, I just kind of liked it simple. I didn't have to worry about um, a whole lot of different colors. I wanted it to be kind of that sepi tone. I'm using the go-to greetings for my happy birthday on the inside. And I'm using the very best occasions for my um, greeting on the outside. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. So those are the stamps that we're going to be using. Our paper that we're using is on the inside I have a piece of five and a quarter by four soft suede and then I'm going to layer a piece of the very vanilla on top of that. I am going this is our small label from the die set for our outside greeting and then it's going to get and these I just cut from scraps of very vanilla and soft suede. I have a piece of three by three and a half very vanilla that we're going to stamp the picture on and again you don't have to worry about these measurements because they're all going to be they're in my tutorial that's going to be on my blog this is the piece of soft suede that is three and three quarters by three and a quarter and then we have the card base which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter <coughs> now I would suggest using your stamparatus for this particular stamp <coughs> simply because if you don't get a real good impression and as long as you don't move that piece of paper you can stamp it again so that's the inside that's the outside we're going to start with our um, stamping of our focal image I usually take a stamp case and put it underneath my um, stamparatus plate so that it gives me a better surface to stamp on. I do have it marked where I want to line this up. So I've got a piece of tape there and I'm going to take one of the magnets. Very rarely do I use both of them because, oh my luck, one always clanks against the other. So there is my magnet placed on there. And now we are going to use our soft suede 
and you're going to ink this really good because it's a very detailed stamp. And like I said, you could definitely um, take it and do it in like a light gray or something and then use your colored pencils or your right, um, right markers. Can't remember what they're called. Blends. No, not the blends because the blends you need to Stampin use black. Right. Stampin' Right markers, that's right, um, to color this. But I'm just getting used to doing that with the uh, Stampin' Blends. So, you know, I'm going to stick with what I'm used to here. So here I'm just going to rub this really good. I know you see a little bit of a glare because of my plastic plate. But are you all seeing... A difference in the video today Dorothy's going to show you the difference in the light this rate. is light number two so this would be light number two do you see any difference in that from light number one we're at the we're at the eye doctors <laughs> tell me which one? one is it number or one two? or two number one or two this is number three this is number three which is more like a blue So give me a, one. now we're back at one. So give me a, um, one, one or two, <laughs> two. two or three. So let me know which lighting you like better ladies. Okay. One. one is best says Karen. So Karen says one is best. I always, I think I always fail those tests because Actually, everything looks blurry. Okay, I've left it set there to make sure. Cherie likes number two. We might have to alternate. Sometimes we use one. Pat likes number one better. Okay, so. Okay, so this is this is dark enough for me. When I did my original. I did not get a real good impression. I, I had some that were skipping. Okay, my assistant can stop playing with the light <laughs> ring now. Put it back on number one. Thank you very much. Okay, so do you all think I should make it darker or should I leave it light like that? I don't want to move it. Sorry, I was going to move it and put it on the soft suede. But if I move it, I can't stamp it again. So what do you think? I'm waiting. Should I go darker or leave it light? I don't even have another piece of chocolate to eat while y'all are deciding what you like. This is the one chocolate. I need your help, ladies. I don't know because I like them both. I say you go with the small or the lighter. Okay, my assistant says the lighter one. None of you must have got in trouble um, at school. Sheree likes darker and Karen Bond likes darker. Okay, well those comments were were hidden to me. Okay, we got two for darker, so we'll go ahead and give it another stamp. And hopefully I didn't shift it. So when I seen this stamp demonstrated at the convention in Texas back in November, um, seems like it's been forever, they did color it. But I thought, you know, I really kind of like it, just the sepia tone. And one color and I think it would be kind of pretty to do the do maybe in the evening evergreen on the very vanilla all right so there's a little bit darker it's it's not as dark but I think I'm gonna stop there because I really was going for more of a lighter um, my comments have stopped on my phone but that's okay so we're going to stop at two stampins. Two stampins. You like that new word I made up? 
Y'all think I need a new chamois? I think I do. This has seen its better days. Right. So we are done. No, we're not done with the Stamparatus. I'm going to do something. No, I, th I think I can do that without the Stamparatus. Okay, so we're going to put the Stamparatus away. We are going to come in and we are going to stamp our happy birthday in the center of our card. And this is on the very vanilla. And this birthday comes out of the... Um, Yeah, where did I get this happy birthday from? I didn't make that card. Go to greetings. Go to greetings. I knew I had it out here. All right, and I'm doing this in the soft suede as well. And if you all remake these cards, you are more than welcome to use any greetings that you want um, however when you if you win these you will get them just like this um, okay sometimes i felt like if i didn't have a greeting on the inside it wasn't complete so that's going to get attached to that piece there now we're going to do our outside greeting and that one says, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. I love this greeting because, you know, you can use this for birthdays. You could use this for weddings. Um, just about anything that's a special day. And I'm just going to center that the best that I can. At least my camera is not up as high that you have to look at the top of my head when I'm leaning over. So there we go. We've got that, and that looks pretty good. All right. The ink we are finished with. Get that messy stuff out of the way. All right. Let's start assembling this card. Yes. Now this I did put up on dimensionals after I got it layered. I just, I love this, this label because it looks masculine to me. That's not very straight, so. Still has more at the bottom. Labels kind of always give me a difficult time depending on how I'm looking at it and what I'm looking at to line it up. And I'm looking at my little dips in the corners. That looks better. Okay, so that will get dimensional. So let's go ahead and just put our dimensionals on that one. So does anybody have big plans for the weekend? Pat and I will be going to a funeral for a friend of ours, daughter. She's been she's been battling breast cancer for the last seven years. And she finally succumbed to it. So the funeral is Saturday. So that's what we'll be doing Saturday afternoon. Okay. And this we're going to lay on our soft suede. <coughs> now I'm going to take my linen thread. And what I did was I took a piece and I said, okay, that's about how long, you know, that's, that'll wrap around this. Okay. And so I wrapped it around three times.
brought it back out to the front. That's not how I did this because I have a knot. I have three pieces. So I have there's one. And I'm just eyeballing this. Hopefully it'll work. Two, three. Is that going to work? Nope. Eyeball a little bit longer. Because I, I don't measure. I just use two and three. Now that should fit around it. Yes, that'll give me enough that I can tie a knot. That's all I'll pray and hope that it does. Give me my ribbon scissors. You know what? There ain't enough on here to keep. We're just going to use the rest of this up and divide it into three pieces. Maybe just do it into four pieces and we'll have a big old knot. There we go. Looky there. Right, so I just took it all and I wrapped it around from the back to the front. Where are my tweezers? Remember me telling y'all a couple weeks ago, I think it was, that you know, I have one of those magnetic tools that you can pick up things with off the floor and Audrey just loved to play with it and four isn't going to work. Something so simple is giving me such a headache today. Anyway, while she was gone, I took that thing and I hid it from her so that she couldn't find it. She asked her mom, she goes, Nana hid my magnet thing. And I'm like, yeah, I did, because she kept hitting me in the face with it. Because she would try to take my glasses off with it. It's like, you don't take <laughs> glasses off with it. But she thought she had to. I was like, well, yep, I hit it. So now I have to remember where I've hit it. And I want to use it. All right. So we are going to tie a knot. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to use our tweezers here to hold that knot tight for us. Just like so. Now I'm going to tie my knot. I wanted something, but I didn't want it to look foofy. So that's why I opted for the linen thread. Because I still think that it looked masculine with that. So here's my other pair of tweezers that don't work as well. i got to get me another pair. Because they do come in handy to use as a third and fourth hand that I need. Okay, now we're just going to pull the left side and tighten that up. Take off our tweezers. And now we're just going to cut all of our little ends to where they're little tiny pieces there. Okay, we can kind of move it over if we want. Oops, not too much. I just messed that up, didn't I? Just tighten up our knot. And it's all going to be okay because I'm going to take and put some adhesive on the back of this. Because this gets laid flat down. So I'm going to make sure I put adhesive over that thread. To make sure that it sticks down. For added measure, you could even put a piece of scotch tape over the back of it. Got sticky hanging off. I don't have my overhead light on with the ring light on, so it's kind of, I'm kind of blinded. Where, oh well. I was looking for my soft suede square to put it on my card. It was already attached. Okay, 
So there we go. I'm going to tighten and pull up these again. That just has a little bit more to the other side. We're going to take a mini glue dot and stick one underneath the stick one underneath that knot so that it stays put for us. Since when I clipped it, it kind of loosened up. So I'm just going to take my glue dot and I'm just going to kind of roll it in place here on my paper. And then I'll lift up my lift up my knot here and place it down. So there we go. That's placed down. And get our little frayed edges out here. That looks good. Now we're gonna take our dimensional backs off. One already must come off. And put this up here at the top. Gosh, I'm doing good on time today. Okay, that's done. And now we're going to add our metallic, brush metallic. And I chose the darker, um, I don't know. I didn't want gold and I didn't want the, the um, coppery looking ones. I wanted the other ones because to me that just kind of went more big, better with the paper. So I put three of them on. I put a big one up here in the corner. Look at all these little backings here. And then I put two of the small ones. Put one up here. And one there. So what do you think about that one, ladies? Do you like that one? Okay, let me get some of this stuff moved out of the way, and I'm going to bring in all three cards. I want you to tell me which one today is your favorite. If you don't have a favorite, that's fine. That's okay not to have a favorite. Unless, of course, you like none of them. Oh, I forgot to put this in the card. Oh, silly me. What is this? Worried about that thread and forgot to put our inside greeting on here. And the reason I did another mat for the inside, the card just felt kind of flimsy to me. Um, I don't have any of the thick base or the thick, very vanilla. So when I finished it, it was like, this just doesn't feel very heavy. And that's why I went ahead and decided that I wanted to do a mat on the inside because it did give it some more stability. And I think it looks good that has that, that soft sway that kind of follows through from the front of the card. So, whoops. All right, so that's card number three. Number two. What is YIP, Pat? What is... All right. So, let me know what you think about the cards today, girls. I'd be interested to find out. Do you like plain and simple cards? I know sometimes it's it's hard for me to explain how to do a real unique fold card, especially on Thursdays because I have so many, you know, I've gotten doing three cards. So I'm really thinking about just doing maybe one card. Are you seeing comments that I'm not? I think you might be because I'm not seeing anybody saying which card they like. Um, just I like it very nice. Got the same ones. Okay, so I might try doing just a 
recorded video of how to put together a fun fold card and just do one of them because I don't it, it just takes too long sometimes on Thursdays and I don't want to have um, too much going on so but those are our cards so if you've commented either on Facebook or YouTube then your name will go into the drawing if you are new to my channel on YouTube, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you will be notified when I go live again. Don't forget, celebration is only good through February 28th. So in here you can get that free paper that, um, or the free stamp set that I used today. That's a $50 order. Um, this is the paper that I used a couple weeks ago that I cut the flowers out with because it does go with the um, stamp set fragrant flowers bundle. So you might think that it's dark with the black, but you know it's really pretty and it really stands out against a black card. Um, okay, so there is some cool stuff in here. I love the sending support. Um, it's got... There are so many ways, it's a little print, so many ways you might feel right now, sending love and thoughts and prayers. Hope today is one of the easier ones. Some days are harder than others. Alone shouldn't be one of them. So there's stamp sets for the outside and then you can match them with for the inside. So that's a nice set to have for a $50 order. I love this paper. You guys have seen me make cards with this paper. Tomorrow at class, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. We are using some of the dandy design paper to make our cards tomorrow. And they turned out really cute. So you will get to have some dandy design paper tomorrow in class to work with. Okay. Mini catalog. Those are good until April 23. Um, Remember, sometimes things sell out, so it's first come, first serve. So if you're looking at something and you're kind of on the on the fence about it, you might want to go ahead and order it just so that it doesn't sell out. Because usually when they sell out, they don't they don't have it anymore. So okay. So until next week, ladies, you all have an awesome weekend, an awesome week. And I will be back next Thursday on the 26th of January. Bye.